Welcome to another session of uh, advanced uh, Microsoft 365 class. Guys, I'm Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor. In previous class of advanced Microsoft 365, we discussed about how we can set up Exchange offline. I'm talking about the on-premises. We successfully installed Exchange Server 2016 on server operating system. We have already discussed about how to set up email box on on-premises, how we can manage the synchronization part with the help of Azure Active Directory. Means the hybrid part, hybrid setup for Microsoft uh, 365 mailing services we have already completed. Now it's time to move ourselves to another important topic. As we discussed in advanced 365 class, I'm going to give you the complete information. So next topic is email migration, one of the important topic you know very well about because each and every clients are each and every um, uh, vendor need to migrate their mailing services from different different location like on premises to 365 or godaddy.com to 365 or any other location like as a Google workspace. If you company established their mailing services over a Google workspace, so you should know about the procedure, how we can transfer the email boxes from Google workspace to Microsoft 365. In this class, I'm going to give you the complete information about uh, the migration, like the types of migration and the work of these migration services. Because you know that over a Microsoft 365, I think seven different types of migration uh, are available. And uh, as a 365 admin, it's our responsibility. We should know about the work of each and every email migration services. Okay, so let me move ourselves to the screen and show you the step how we can get the option of uh, email migration. So I'm moving myself to the screen, but before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. I'm moving myself to uh, the desktop screen and show you the steps. Uh, as you know that I have already purchased one license of Microsoft 365. I'm going to log in our 365 page. Guys, this is the 365 panel. You just need to click on admin center and the migration option you will find over a exchange online admin. So in the admin panel, we just need to click on so all and it will give you the information about like security, compliance, endpoint, our responsibility to click on the exchange. And once you click on the exchange, it will redirect you on the page of online exchange admin center. And over an online exchange admin center, we are able to find one option migration, just need to click on migration. And in the migration panel, we are able to find two more option. Give me one minute add migration badge. We just need to click on add migration badge. It gives us a two more option. If we talk about the options which are available in the select the mailbox migration. Migration to exchange online and migration from exchange online. Let's talk about the usage of these two important point. Migration to exchange online, okay. And migration from uh, exchange online migration to exchange online right so it means that for example you establish your on premises this is our on prem exchange and you establish multiple mailboxes on on premises but you don't want to proceed with the on-premises. You have already signed up yourself over a Microsoft 365 portal as well. The entire mailboxes, right? The entire mailboxes that you created, you wanted to migrate mailboxes to the 365 panel. From on-premises, maybe the mailbox that you establish using workspace, Workspace, I'm talking about the Google Workspace, right? You establish your email services by using Google Workspace. Multiple mailboxes are available on Google Workspace. Now it's time to migrate. You can migrate by using the option of migration to the Exchange Online. 
second option like migration from exchange online as for the name suggest if you want to migrate the email boxes from on online our online exchange admin center to on premises to google workspace to godaddy that time you need to proceed with second option correct i hope you guys are able to understand about the gap between uh, uh, migration to exchange online and migration from exchange online so i'm going to show you the step because most of company need to set up their environment with the help of uh, migration to exchange online you must need to provide name right i'm going to proceed with this option select the name of uh, like test any name you can decide it's up to you and click next and it will redirect you on the page of select the migration type the one of important part select the migration type so seven different types of migration option available whenever you plan to migrate the email boxes from on premises to 365 or google workspace to 365 or godaddy.com to 365 one is remote move migration staged migration cut over migration cross tenant migration and google workspace migration and last one is imap migration our responsibility we should know about the gap between our difference between these migration services let me start from the very basic first of all we need to know about the concept of these types of migration our responsibility to know about the features know about the method that we have migration to exchange online right so n number of migration method that we have like i'm going to start from the very basic one of important part remote move migration the first migration remote move migration second is staged migration right and third one is related to the cut over migration then you can proceed for cross tenant migration and number fifth google workspace migration and the last one is related to the i map migration okay let's try to understand about the difference between remote move migration staged migration cut over migration cross cross tenant migration and google workspace migration so just wanted to clear these three different migration service can help you in case of migrating the email from on premises to exchange migration from from on prem exchange okay on prem exchange to exchange online okay so in case of if you have already established your exchange server on on premises and now you are trying to migrate the email boxes that you created on on premises now you are trying to transfer the entire mail boxes to the exchange online or you are trying to migrate the entire mail boxes to the 365 portal so in this case these three different migration services can help you the first one is remote move migration okay and second is the staged migration and the last one is cut over migration our responsibility we should know about the gap between our responsibility we should know about the difference between these three different types of migration services 
The meaning of remote move migration, if you establish your offline exchange or on-premises exchange service based on the exchange server that you establish on on-premises, it's based on server, not 2010, window, server 2000, exchange server 2010 are latest version, like 2016, 2019, right? If you are using latest version of exchange server on on-premises and you are trying to shift the entire mailboxes from on-premises to the Microsoft 365 portal, you always proceed with the first one, remote move migration. Is that okay? Second, staged migration. So in case of staged migration, this is our on-premises exchange, which is running over a server 2000, exchange server 2003 and 2007. If the exchange server that you establish on on-premises based on 2003 and uh, 2007, then you can proceed with uh, staged migration. Last one is cutover migration. The exchange server that you establish, exchange server 2003, the old version of exchange if you establish on on-premises and now you are trying to migrate the emails email boxes from on-premises to Microsoft 365, you always proceed with the cutover migration. So it means that these three different types of migration services are considered as a migrating mailboxes from on-premises to Microsoft 365 portal. Is that clear? Next, cross-tenant migration. Let's talk about cross-tenant migration. As per the name suggests, right, cross-tenant migration. If you establish two different email boxes, right, two different account, this is account one and this is another MS365 account A, MS365 account B, okay? You have a two different tenant and now you are trying to transfer the mail boxes from one Office 365 portal to another Microsoft 365 portal account. This is tenant one because you know that whenever we sign up ourselves over the Office 365, it will provide you one tenant with your subscription or licenses. Tenant A, Tenant B, you are transferring the entire mailboxes from one machine to another, one, one location to another location, one account to another account, which is considered as a cross-tenant migration. Second, next, let's talk about Google Workspace migration. So as per the name suggests, the mailing services that you establish over a Google Workspace. So Google Workspace, just like as a Microsoft 365 portal, right? That give us option to create uh, email boxes, storage, and also provide us a Google Word, Google Doc, and Google Excel, Google Sheet, not Excel. So if you establish your mailbox, the mailbox that you establish over a Google Workspace, and now you're trying to transfer the entire mailboxes to MS365 portal, right? So that time this migration service can help you. Last, IMAP migration. So as we know that IMAP is a type of protocol which is responsible to manage the messaging service. The email boxes that you establish in different, different location, like as uh, it may be GoDaddy, Right, you establish your email services using Bluehost, right, or Hostinger. You are trying to transfer entire email boxes to Microsoft 365 portal. That time, the IMAP service can help you. So everyone, this is all about the theoretical part of uh, migrating our email boxes from one location to another location. I hope you guys are able to understand about the concept. 
if any interviewer will ask you question like what is migration in email services so you can define these six different types of email services migration services all good guys so that's it for today's session we'll connect in next class and discuss more about microsoft 365 service take care guys bye bye and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel bye